The prohibition is applicable to the thigh muscle of a fowl. If its hip is shaped like that of cattle. Malcolm, have you been on a course? This is forbidden chicken. Rubbish, it's chicken polky. Not a rump steak, now put it back. This is not helping your case. Case? I don't have a case that I have Clint to put... apologises for his rashness. However, he requests that you relinquish the chicken thigh. It's evidence. Yeah. Step away from the polky, Malcolm. Very well. Now I will continue my audit. Case. He can't... What is he trying to if do to me? This isn't sorted by noon tomorrow. I'm having my deposit back. No, oh. no, no. Wait a minute, please. I... But it'll be OK. I... It'll all be fine. Tell him, Gerald. You're not going to take on Malcolm, are you? I'm not. We are. Sorry, my procedure's a bit rusty. Oh, I thought you did rather well. Caucasian male, 5'8", blue eyes, like the eyes. Very observant. Thank you. Not at all. Am I right in saying the Met has the largest casebook in the country? It certainly has. So how does an active investigator get rusty? Inactivity. Desk job for three months. I was injured. Oh, in the line of duty. Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Shall I read it back? Yeah. Right. Uh, John Strait is well liked by his staff, most of whom would like to kill his little madam of a daughter. She was in the showroom before she left for South America. She had a screaming match with him. And no one seems to be taking this murder claim very seriously. Killing. Excuse me? John Strait did not say murder. He said he killed her. What do you see, Sergeant? I believe the expression is booty. When we go back to the station, I want you to call Glasgow Airport. Airport. Check the airlines and see if Miss Strait flew her booty back home. Couldn't have put it better myself. You hungry? Uh, not really. I don't usually eat lunch, sir. What? <laughs> You're ridiculous. Uh, food is just fuel, sir. And I'm fine at the moment. Well, I'm not. And if you're feeling so energetic, you won't mind running for my lunch. Seeing as how you interrupted my morning bagel. I always thought it was pronounced bagel, sir. In New York, it's bagel. In Glasgow, it's bagel. See? You learn? <laughs> We're closed. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah. Um, no, what do I want? I've got to get this right. Yeah. Um, one sesame bagel. Bagel. Bagel? Um, two slices of trimmed oak smoked Scottish salmon. Lemon. Three turns of black pepper. Cream cheese tomato. But no onion. That's a hat. Careful. Hey. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Just right there. <laughs> you Morris Rose's daughter? Yeah. Well, he never mentioned his princess. No photos, nothing. Could lose his Jewish father's licence. <laughs> Alexander Murchison. Detective Sergeant. Matt, you don't look like an Alexander Murchison. What's your real name? My real name is... Alexei Murchisovsky, and I'm working undercover. But don't tell your dad. <laughs> Our secret. So, do I call you Princess? Yeah, if you want. Rachel! Thanks. Who is this? Um. The airline said they need some more time to get the passenger information together. Shouldn't be more than a couple of hours. Very good. I think we should start interviewing Sarah Strait's friends and associates. I can get a list together. Then really we should talk to the father again. Perhaps this time we can even ask them some questions. Sir. Yes, absolutely. Meanwhile, <clears throat> we've got two hours, right? Where's my bagel? Your brother said to say that when you do something about Malcolm, 
You can have the bagel. What is this? Quart pan of a cheese. So why are we here? What's a bloke in a tree got to do with a straight murder? Two sets of hoof prints in a one-horse town are usually made by the same horse. Ancient Jewish law? The Lone Ranger. Hit and run. Force of the impact threw him into the tree and into a coma. Any ID? Mm -mm. Time of incident? Definitely in the last 12 hours. The doctors reckon sometime late last night, early morning. I've got his personal effects here. Corpses have personal effects. He is not dead, but just... No, sir. Jacket, jogging pants, T-shirt, baseball cap, pair of running shoes, And this ham sandwich, sir. Something up there. Where? Here. <clears throat> I'll give you a boost. No, no. No, you're lighter than I am. Let me give you a boost. I'm stronger than I look. <clears throat> Come on. Ready? <sighs> Impressive. Learn that in the Met. No, sir. From a book. <clears throat> you're on a very high shelf, was it? I've got something. What is it? Twenty pound note, sir. Oh dear. Just let it dry clean, sir. Done much door to door, Sergeant. A door kicker in my time. No, no, no. This is a genteel neighbourhood. We do not do door kicking. We, we smile. We make friends. We drink tea. We dunk digestives. We, we, we schmooze. Yes, sir. Nice. Schmooze. Do you know what I like most about Christmas summer, Sergeant? Ah, oh, there you get to know, sir. Good neighbours. You see, good neighbours make good neighbourhood watch schemes. The more schemes are set up when there's a problem, spate of burglaries, car theft, vandalism, that sort of thing. When the problem goes, so does a neighbourhood watch. But not here. This is the land where the twitching neck curtain never sets. Are you, or have you ever been, a member of the South Side Neighbourhood Watch? Interrogating the brisket. I reckon we've got about ten minutes. If we don't get this plotnik off too sorted, it'll be okay. We need this like a lock and cop. I was counting on that money. This is a disaster. I mean, we've got till high noon. What does she take me for? Do I look like Clint Eastwood? It was Gary Cooper, and you're not likely to be mistaken for either of them. Ah, bro, we need that money. You don't tell me. I know. Look, no, no, calm down. You'll make yourself ill. Don't worry. Gerald has a plan. Well, actually, at this point, it's more of a notion than a fully formed plan. Gerald, will you just tell us the plan? OK. OK. <clears throat> the five books of Moses, source of the 613 commandments that Jews have lived by for more than five millennia. This is the law. This is Malcolm's source of power. So, we're going to attack it in a time-honored tradition. We're going to argue a point of law. Good man. If Malcolm wants to play chicken, he has picked the wrong roosters.
sorry, didn't see a thing. Well, did you hear anything? Did you hear any strange noises? Yes, madam, did you want to add something? No. No, well, thank you both for your time. <clears throat> I couldn't see anything um, in front of my husband. Um, he, he didn't want me to see anything. Uh, oh, this is so embarrassing. Um, last night, well, we, we were trying something different. And I heard a crash outside the window. I was already recording. It, it kind of bounces about a wee bit, but I think you get the idea. I'm sure we will, madam. Thank you. Well, yeah, this isn't going to end up with a Christmas tape, is it? Christmas tape? Well, it's a, it's a candid compilation of video footage, uh, usually taken from security cams, showing members of the public in compromising situations traditionally played at office parties during the festive season. Well, traditionally. This happens every Christmas. Hmm? Like the Wizard of Oz, sir. Rest assured, madam, you will be highly discreet. It's true. There is no place like home. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. I thought a big rooster like you would just fly through it. You no, know, I met Dad's new partner today. Hmm. Yeah, two minutes after we laid eyes on each other, we were rolling around on the floor together. Technically, they're not partners. You gay detectives don't work like that. It's a common misconception. Like Rocky. What? You know. You know, in that first movie, he really tried his best. He put everything he had into that fight. But he didn't actually win. Everybody forgets that. You're a mine of information. <laughs> and you're a mine. <laughs> Are you saying that we're not going to win? No. Gerald. Malcolm isn't like other Bethden inspectors. If you prick him, he bleeds. Acid. You know it was Malcolm's father who closed the deli back in 54 after the, uh, incident. Shh. So you see, this inspection, it's not rabbinic. It's genetic. Uh, I'm, uh, just popping out. For something to eat. Something to your stick it, Daddy's. Hello? What is it? What? Have, have, you, have you found something? Perhaps. I have to see a man about a cow. Cheerio. There you go. Ah, oh, gentlemen. How's my murder coming along? Oh, we're just checking this out. Oh, is that a lead? And handcuffs. You know, uh, statistically, the vast majority of murders are solved in the first 24 hours after the crime. Those would be real murders. You're not taking this seriously enough, Morris. What's your next move? Uh, up a bit. Higher. Higher. No, Raymond, not there. Oh, shocking, Wolfie. Too high. It's uh, evidence. <clears throat> Hi, this is Bob from BA called. Cheerful chat. Anyway, Sarah Street was in the 815 shuttle last Wednesday night. Yes. Here we go. Sir. Uh, in a minute, in a minute. Just watch. Pete's trading post. And that presumably is Pete. Who is he picking up? It's a bag, a hold on. To figure they're on the edge of the park. Is that the hit and run? No, 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 this is after the crash. He's already in the tree. Rewind it. Rewind. Freeze it there. Nice coat. Yeah, lovely. But what about this murder business? What about straight? You're looking at it. Oh, Inspector! You have caught you. This is... Hello, good. Derek. Hi, Morris. Oh, that's lovely. Now, regarding the murder, I've arranged some positive coverage in the local paper, so we need a few photographs. No, no, hey, yay, yay, yay. But yay. you must. I've already cleared it with the superintendent. Well, he didn't clear it with me. Can't really blame him. So, like, please have it with the complaint.